Hello. Welcome in, everyone. Woohoo! Hello, Ash. Hello, Irish. Hello, Brandy. D Sims. Cam. Artistic Broccoli. Krista. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Oh my goodness, Irish, did you do the poll to ask everyone how they're doing? Drill Sergeant Quackers! Oh my god, I love all the dancing emotes! Oh my goodness. Well, can't wait for decades has won the poll of how everyone is doing. I love seeing that! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 78% can't wait for decades. I love it. And if you could be doing better, I hope that this will be fun for you. I said I was doing great because I, I voted before I read all the options that I didn't see can't wait for decades. And I was like, dang it. Anyways, I loved the poll. With the poll, actually, you guys, we have real mods. Hi from Ukraine, glad to be here. Welcome in. Okay, I feel like you told me before what I can call you and I, I don't remember. So if you can remind me uh, next, next, Ugh. I can't say it. I don't have a good, um, I can't do the, those letters together very good. But hello in the Ukraine. What time? Is it late, late? It's got to be, or early. Is it morning? Maybe it's morning for you. All right, you guys. All right. Ruru. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. But you guys, you'll notice in chat some swords. We have mods, yay! So you guys better be on your best behavior. So you guys are always great though. You guys are amazing. But I did a post in Discord last week that I was looking for some mods and these lovely, amazing people applied. And now we have mods. So we have Irish and D Sims and Rose as well. Rose is uh, gotta take, um, I <laughs> gotta take her, I think her son or one of her kids to the dentist. And so, and Mama Sim streamer and Allison as well. I think Allison may be doing um, her content as well. So we have mods, so make sure to show love to our mods. And Becca, hello, Violet, hello, welcome in you guys. All right, I'm ready to play some games because I have been working since the crack of dawn this morning. I had a very busy work day today and I had to work yesterday as well. So I'm ready to play Sims. As Becca said, let's party. I'm ready. Everyone is well behaved for the most part in here for sure. But you guys are gonna keep it safe. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to make a mod love emote for you guys. All right, let me switch my screen. Oh my gosh, it's 3 a.m. in the Ukraine. In Ukraine. I always say the Ukraine. I don't know why I say that. Um, That is... It's early or late, depending on if you stayed up. I'm a night owl myself if I didn't have to be up for work in the morning. Okay, let's switch over because I have something to show you guys. I worked on the lot a little bit with our limited funds. <laughs> with our limited funds, I made it look a little bit cuter. Thank goodness for debug. Thank goodness for debug landscaping. Because who should have to pay for the tree to grow in their front yard? So it's looking a little cuter. It's still really teeny tiny, but it's so cute. Look at their little porch. I looked up a couple inspo pictures and I saw one that had like the, the um, what do you call it? The, ch the uh, chimney coming up the side. And I thought that was so cute. And if we go inside, that's where I put the stove actually. So we've got the stove in here now. Um, I went ahead and put us a real sink because that wasn't too expensive. I had poor, <laughs> I made, I made Willie make bathtubs on the wood table all night so we could upgrade a few things. So I just did a couple of things. I also have had uh, Madison doing some canning. So I just did that, just did a little bit of stuff through the night. She's still in bed, poor thing, she's exhausted. She's been on her feet all night. Um, Willie's out here finishing up taking care of the animals. Let's see, I think I have it on there, 1854. Let me check the spreadsheet real quick. It is Monday in the game. Hey, it's Monday, it's Monday IRL too. Look at that. 
Um, love it. The trees and the fence add so much for sure. And I do feel like I have a little bit too much fencing going on. So we may rework it as we continue to make more money. But for right now, I like it. I didn't put any terrain paint down because I do feel like I'm going to move stuff around because I think I want to expand the house on this side. But right now it's all the way on the edge of the lot. So we'll probably we'll have a second reiteration of it or whatever. So, um, uh, Simi uh, loves, hi, welcome in. Let's see, Monday of, wait, I we were 1854, it's Monday in the game. I'm confused on my spreadsheet, because then that would be, oh, hold on, my days got copied over on my, I, I have to figure out what the year is later. I'm confused. My spreadsheet copied wrong. So I don't know what freaking year it is right now. <laughs> Willie is finally setting in Rose. Hi. Are you on the way to your appointment? You'll be here for about an hour and then you have to go to the appointment. Amazing. And Violet, you tried Dirty Chai Latte today because you said I said it was my fave. And it's fabulous. Oh my gosh. If you have not tried a Dirty Chai, you guys, you need to get on it. Okay. Let me just catch up with chat real quick. Gina, hi! Um, you're also a mod for a couple of streamers. That's awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. We're gonna get in, making sure all my alerts and stuff are on because everything sounds so quiet right now. But when I record for YouTube, I turn everything off so I have to make sure it's on. Purple Empress Renee, welcome in. What are we gonna start with? Probably, let's harvest the garden. We'll let we'll let um, Madison sleep in. I'll get him going on the garden. She really, she loves to do the garden, so I was gonna let her do it. But yeah, let's check in on her pregnancy. I put the, um, I, I did a couple custom content cribs, but at the end of the day, I kind of liked the Realm of Magic one. <laughs> I don't know, I just like the little cloth that it had. So I put us a little bassinet. And she is, I think, second trimester in 11 hours. Child on the way. Madison wants children and is happy to know one is on their way. And then I also did like a, I copied the save file and did a play test to make sure that my mods weren't conflicting on pregnancy. And so we should be good to go now. Like it's still not like, you know, 100% chance every time they woohoo. It's like, I whatever I put in the rules, it's like 30 something percent chance or something like that but she was able to get pregnant when I, I basically turned off MC Woohoo, Risky Woohoo, and then I'm only using Relationship Pregnancy Overhaul Mod for pregnancy. So that bassinet's perfect for decades. It does fit the vibes. I wish it had a slightly different like base to it. Like I wish the legs, the legs were maybe like slightly, slightly different, but overall I think it's really cute and I never use it. So I was like, we're gonna use it. Um, also a couple things I've got going. I'll have him come out here. Um, here, go make a bathtub because that's helping us make a lot of money. I have it since I ran out of money when I was putting the stuff down. I, I He made enough bathtubs that I was able to get an animal shed. We don't have an actual cow yet, but I made it look like he's working on the fence. <laughs> so I love this item. The, these like wooden logs are in debug from, um, what do you call it? Uh, werewolves. And so I size them down one usually because they're ginormous, but I like putting them down around to make it look like they're working on building. Um, and then I put, I did turn on off the grid and we've got the windmill, which is basically just a historical like replacement of the wind turbine. And then we have a little water pump right here that I put out by the, where we can like gather water and stuff. So I'm gonna play around with playing with off the grid on, but I usually give up on it pretty quickly, but we'll see. Moon windmill is just over the hill, let's just say. Um, yes, and Rose, it is working, I think. I haven't, I really only, I haven't played since I've placed it, but hopefully it will, it will actually create enough electricity for us. Oh my God, there is a chicken in our kitchen. Madison, you're like sleeping the day away, hun. Here, go ahead. I gave her a couple of outfits and I think I gave, let's see one of your new ones. I tried to give her all the big poofy dresses. Why don't you come and 
cook up some now I have to remember how to do this cook off the grid can we make any breakfast scrambled eggs with single serving what do we need oh you need more eggs we'll go collect the eggs because I know we've got more eggs and then you can make breakfast and I think I'm gonna start playing slower because one of the things I realized is like, I don't know why for whatever, I think it's because I was excited. I was playing so fast last week and I was like, I need to slow it down. Like it was going like the, it's going by too quickly. <laughs> I don't want it to go by so fast. Um, so now she can come make some food. If, oh, if I click on the mailbox, let's see how much power is being generated. Okay, I put the like werewolves, um, I think that's the werewolves mailbox, right? I put that as well. Let's see what we're making so far. Power. I don't know how to read this. So there you go, Rose. <laughs> I don't know how to read how much we're making. I mean, now it says we don't have anything to sell. So I'm thinking that means we don't have a surplus of power, but we do have a little bit of water. Um, there we go. Instead of, ch oh wait, change to store instead of sell. Oh, I didn't realize that was on. Okay, hold on. Let's fix this because, oh! This is probably why I hate playing off the grid because I don't ever change this. Oh my God, I feel like such a dummy. Rose, thank you. Oh my God, I can hear him playing guitar. William, why are you such a vibe? He's singing! What if he tries to become a country star? That makes sense, Rose. I did not realize that that defaulted. I just assumed if you had off the grid on that it just knew to like auto store. I think she got leftovers out, but I don't want you to get leftovers out. You need to cook food for your husband. Here, just make a single serving since you've already gotten food apparently. Is it singing or country rapping? If it was country rapping, my dad would love it. He's working on his first album. He's writing, um, I kind of love this. He has like a country voice. I don't know if that's because of like the type of songs he was choosing to play, but I was kind of vibing that. Do you guys like his new outfit? I love that. He's writing a song about a man who left home. Brittany, happy Monday! I had a very busy weekend, but it was good. It was good. I got a YouTube video out on Saturday, which felt like such a relief. And Sunday I had to work, unfortunately. Yes, our household is now generating a power surplus. We love to see it. Here's your breakfast, honey. Here, call him over. Don't run off. I want to spend some more sweet time with these guys. We're not rushing. Hold up, William. Hey, honey. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> now that they had that nice date the other night. <laughs> Here, go eat your food. Oh, where are y'all going? What? Um, excuse me? What, what is, what is happening right now? Is this part of the, I had to zoom out because I didn't know if this was like spicy or if this was cute. This is kind of freaking cute. 
It looks really inappropriate, but he's rubbing her belly, I think. I just added it, D-Sims. I added the childbirth mod, and I am obsessed now. That was so cute. I didn't even tell them to do that. Uh-oh, do you need to go throw up? Can you throw up in the outhouse? Yeah, you can. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Run. And now we have a back door. Do you not have to throw up anymore? Is that what happened? No, go throw up. Nothing says spicy like a little morning cuddle. Uh, I've only tried it once. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it for this series. I love it. At first, I was a little nervous. I was like, am I about to have to cut my screen? Like, I don't know what's about to happen. That was his thank you for cooking breakfast. Oh my goodness. All right, William. Here, just go set that down. Your wife will clean it up. Um, I do want us to get a little bit more money. So, oh, I think I, did I? Oh, dang it. I forgot to add the mod that would let her go horse riding while, um, I had already added ice in the fridge yesterday. Let me see if it's run out yet. No, it's still got, we still have 68% on ice. That was the first thing I did when I turned off the grid on. Here, come get you a, come get you a nice soak out in the backyard. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know, it was his hand that was making that look crazy. Allison! Hello, I love the sword next to your name. Okay, we'll give Madison some alone time. We're starting slow today. I'm not in a I'm not in a rush. Oh no, is she gonna be stuck over there? No good, she's not. Um, why don't we get you going? I think you can do some more canning. So let's do homemade produce. Oh, she's inspired here. Tomato sauce. It's my favorite thing to do in the game. Get on it, Madison. I love that tub too. I love it so much. Also, Okay, if anyone does not have Cottage Living or you have never done canning in the game, I love the animations. Let me turn the light on so we can see what she's doing a little bit better. But when they do like the canning on the stove, it is, mm, it is so good. Just speed it up just a little bit. Okay, here we go. These are the vibes, just 1854 in our house okay while she does that i'm gonna try to figure out what went wrong on my days on my spreadsheet so i can figure out exactly what day we're on so let me see okay i see what i did wrong i think we're actually at the end of 18 we're on the last day of 1853 so i changed the text too soon. So let me fix that and then that's what I did. So that's good. I was like, oh my god, we're so like, we've already played so much. I think that's right. I might have to check my replays. Cottage Living is so good. We don't need her to chop off her fingers in the dark. The last time you did canning was in Sims 2 or 3. There was a whole separate stove for it. That's crazy. Allison, no worries. You don't have to be sorry for being late. Okay, so what did it do? No, 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 no. You don't clean that. You don't need to pick that up. So if you've never done it before, you get, they'll put one thing that they can down and then you get two in your inventory. And here, let me tell you guys, here's my little, my TED talk. Always do tomato sauce, either tomato sauce or I think like mayonnaise, but tomatoes is good because tomatoes grow for a good amount. But I think a tomato sells for like five simoleons, but each of these jars at the lowest level sell for 26 simoleons and you don't need sugar to make them. So tomato sauce is a great way to make business. That's how we got our whole decades challenge off the ground when I started my first decades challenge. So anyways, that's my tip for today. Because one tomato turns into three 26 simoleon jars. So you get 26 times three for one tomato. So anyways. William, put, Willie, 
Will you put those down, please, so your wife can come clean the kitchen? Okay. Clean up. I'm going to try to follow some of the, like, original Decades Challenge rules, like, where, like, the women do most of the house stuff and the men do, like, in this case, woodworking. Right now, while we're waiting for the baby, I want to try to get as much simoleons as we can. So here, you come and clean the house. The big crops also yield more money. Do you mean like the, like the, what, what are the options? Like pumpkins, watermelon, the aubergine, like the eggplants. Um, we maybe, oh, actually, you know what? That's what we need to do. We're going to go with Madison to the general store because I forgot it's the second day of fall and we need to plant our fall garden. So let's go do that real quick and uh, figure out. Mobile ankles, you'll catch it when it goes up on YouTube. but wanted to pop in and say hi. Well, hello. I'm glad you were able to pop by and say hi. Yeah, the cottage living crops. I didn't put any of those for sale in the store. Oh my gosh, the kitty cat is here. That's the Hooper's cat. Remember we wanted to have a cat sitting on the counter when we set this up? Hi, you little cutie. Where are you running off to? Oh, don't run away. Are you going home? Is that where you're going? No, don't leave. Hey, Rusty's here. Here, come share the big news. All right, or just walk right past each other. Where are you going? Wait, what? Oh, no, we're not going to give you any of our candles. Sorry, buddy. What you telling us, Rusty? What you telling us? I love Rusty. He's one of my favorite. <laughs> the cat's not for sale. Catching up after marathoning on YouTube, and it seems like we've time traveled. It does if you watch Ultimate Decades. Why do my Sims always like deception? Should we say yes? Because maybe that's why she likes William. Madison seems to respect the skill it took for Rusty to craft such a devious lie. Deception can be hard to pull off, but it sure can keep a conversation fun and full of mischief. I'm going to say yes for her because I think that would be a good compatibility with, um, with William if he starts to act up a little bit. Okay, let's go do our shopping now. Look at all the people shopping. Oh God, Shania. Shania showed up at our house in the middle of the night, actually, while I was um, playing through the night. She showed up at like, um, oh Irish, it's, um, my command for YouTube is, it's like YouTube spelled out, but YT would be good too. Um, Hop on my spaceship, taking a ride. Mobile Ankles, thank you for that brand new sub. Thank you. Oh man, I missed the side eye. Dang it, who had the side eye? Was it was it us or Shania or what? I missed the drama, I missed it. Did I ask Will's former lovers to be just friends? Yes, he, well, with the ones that live in this town. So technically he still has a pink bar with I think um, Stella and um, Annabelle Sweet from Strangerville, but Shania, he, uh, he, they don't have a pink bar anymore, but I think they're still into each other. Um, I think, I think he really wanted to marry her, but I didn't let him. Okay. I'm looking up the fall. Okay. Farming. Oh, we should plant some apple trees. Let's plant some apple trees so we can make like apple pie and stuff. That would be awesome. So we've already got, no, we don't have carrots. So we need to get carrots. We should get some grapes. Maybe we can do some nectar making if we get around to it, but maybe not. We'll see how that goes. We already have green beans. We already have a lemon tree. Um, I'll do a little bit of mushrooms because that's good in cooking, but otherwise mushrooms, mushrooms aren't great for selling because they're only like one simoleon. Okay. Let's grab, let's get, a, 
Let's do like three apple trees like all in a row. Let's get these. Did I say buy or eat? Yeah, buy. Okay. Buy some apples. We'll get, we'll do three grapes too. Cause those we'll need for crafting. And here we thought Shania was the good girl. Maybe she is still the good girl. She was wifey material, maybe. Oh wait, I didn't mean to buy three onions. I just wanted one onion. Whoopsies! Whoopsies! Lolly in the sky! Two months prime sub! Thank you so much. Okay, I'm confused too, Lolly, because... I feel like something's not right. I'm gonna have to watch the replay uh, from Friday because now I'm really confused because I did play one day off cam, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to rectify it. I'll check it during break or if somebody <laughs> time to go to YouTube or the replay on t Twitch and wants to figure it out for me right now. See, okay, let me get the spreadsheet out. This is why I'm confused. Because Monday... <sighs> it says 1853 was... This was one, two... Oh! Hold on, I had extended summer too. So this was five, six, seven. So this was summer. And we're on day two. No, we're only in 1853. Wait, I, ex I thought I played 14 days of summer. So maybe we're in, oh my God, I think we're in 1855. One, five, Five, six, seven. Yeah, this was summer. Okay, let's figure this out. So this was all summer. This was all summer. And then fall started here. So it, it's Monday. So I think we're actually in the third day of 1855. Oh, man. No, time is going by too fast. Okay, you guys are good. You guys corrected me. That makes a lot more sense. I was really confused. Sorry, it's 1855. We just went back in time. <laughs> That's why we have the spreadsheet because, oh my gosh. If not, it's so confusing. Okay, yeah, because I extended summer See, that's why I want to slow down because we're playing through way too fast for my liking. I want to be in the Wild West. I mean, we're going to be in the Wild West till like 1880. I'm going to keep this aesthetic until about, because um, the Wild West, as we know it, really hit its like prime in the summer of 1876. So I think we'll do Wild West till probably like closer to the end of the 1800s. Oh yeah, Stella's kid. You guys are good. Stella's kid would be Jin too. You're right. You're right. I'll update that. And he's a toddler. He's a toddler. I confirmed. I uh, made. I gave him a toddler makeover. Okay. Let me get focused. Oh, we're going to get a cupcake. She's having pregnancy cravings. She was like, "Oh my gosh, Mrs. Hooper's cupcakes are so delicious." You help yourself, girl. You help yourself. What are your whims? Flirt with someone and have a child. We're gonna pin have a child because you're gonna have a child. Did we get everything we needed? Let me check my inventory. Hold on, I got distracted. We got apples, we got grapes, we got a carrot, we got mushroom, onion. Let's get a raspberry. I think that's here. Okay, get a raspberry and then we can go. That's good. Okay, let's head back home now. Should we buy it? Oh, we only have 30. Oh, nope. You're gonna spend all the money. Okay, let's get out of here. Kid is going hungry like his papa. Wait, can I show? Oh, show you um the toddler? 
James, is that what you're asking? I was like, what was I talking about? I always say stuff and then I forget. Well, how far are we going to walk to go home? Although this is a vibe, walking through this town. I don't know how far the spawn point is. Her pregnancy walk. Look at her. Do you like her fall outfit? I gave her this outfit for fall. Oh, Madison, I love you. She reminds me a little bit of Rosalind <laughs> from Ultimate Decades. It's the red hair. Each week in the calendar is one month. I've, I'm doing four days is a year. Yeah, so that's a big difference. That's a lot longer. Okay, how far are we? Are we going to walk all the way home? I swear to God. I'm kind of vibing it, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of vibing it. I'm going to let her just keep walking because we're on an ad break anyway, and I don't want people to miss anything. So we're here for the vibes. Look at the fall. Oh, I guess that's where we teleport. Oh, let's get our fall garden planted. So I kind of cheated a little bit, and I put our summer... She literally is uncomfortable because she's craving sweet food. You literally just had a cupcake. You literally just had a cupcake. Um, but I put all of our summer, I put all of our summer plants in inventory. So I'm kind of cheating. Oh, we can make some cookies maybe. I'm not sure what we'll need. Oh, I should have bought some more sugar and flour while we were there. Oh, but we can make flour actually. Walking is good for labor. Yeah, we'll need that with the realistic childbirth mod for sure. Let me see if I can get these spaced perfectly. I might end up having to move them manually. I want to do the apple trees somewhere else though. Let's see, we could do the apple trees maybe... Maybe along the front right here. I don't know, we'll see once they like come into bloom and then I might decide to move them, but we'll do them there. She's hangry for cookies. Can she even plant if, can we even make cookies? Can, how do I bake off the grid? Can I just go to bake? Cookie dough is the only way to make cookie dough with the mixer, because the mixer is not going to look time period appropriate. And I, let's go into build mode so I can sell those bathtubs that he made. Let me see. I have inventory to purchase one of the horse ranch storage boxes and store them in there. That's true. Um, would you would you, would you mind just doing a little oh. save check for me? Save check is a solid call. Good call, Kodo. How do you make flour? Yeah, I have a mod called the Ye Medieval. Wait, hold on. What's the cookbook mod called? Old cookbook mod. The old, Ye Old Cookbook mod. There we go. Gosh, I could not think of what that was called. It's called the Ye Old Cookbook mod. It's more of like a medieval cookbook, um, but it lets you make flour. The only thing you still can't make is sugar. Um, Ash, I see that message. Did I, I might have missed, oh, how would she feel if the other baby mama shows up? I see that message up further above too. Um, let me see, I'm, okay, question about making cookie dough. Do I have to have a mixer? Cause I, I don't know of any um, like, what do you call it? Historical overrides for that yet? How much is it? Oh wait, that's not. I can just put it in inventory when it's not in use. Cause I mean, I want her to be able to bake. Wait, that was 750 simoleons. Ah! Oh, I see it. Sorry guys, I'm not good, good with chat. Okay, Rose said you will need the mixer, but you could just keep it in an inventory. Okay, that's what I was thinking. And then Desim said, turn off prepped ingredients if you don't want to use the mixer. How do I turn off prepped ingredients? I think I'll just 
just do the mixer and we'll just put it in the inventory. Let's, cause I like, I wanna make the flour and sugar. Oh, so we are out of sugar. I'm just gonna grab some real quick. Spicy nudes, happy three months. Happy three months. Yeah, Ash, I'm seeing your messages now, so it looks like it's working. Yes, I can show Stella's son later. We'll check in on him because I want to make sure we see him at all of the different age levels. Sorry I'm taking so long on this. I'm like, this is new, the new pack, so I'm not as familiar. Um, I'm just going to grab some sugar from D-Bucks so we don't have to go all the way back to the general store because I forgot while we were there. I forgot. We'll grab a couple. We'll just get four. And because I'm feeling extra lazy, I'm just gonna get some flour too. Well, cause we just went to the store, so we're stocked up. Okay, I think she needed one of each of those. So a flour, a sugar, and now I think we can make batter. Wait, why are those not registering? Did I get the wrong ones? Ugh. There's two different versions of it, I think. Suggestions for Hooper's General Store. They have a grocery delivery service. Use the in-game option. Yes. I'm going to do that because those didn't work. There's like different ones. Okay. Let's do that. And I'm curious who's going to deliver the groceries. It might... Grocery delivery. See, yeah, that's what I just downloaded. I'm just gonna get two. How hard is it to get this girl some cookies? I'm trying, Madison. I'm trying. Here, get your order in. We'll say that. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna say he they they ordered it. Oh, do they have to be in the fridge? Not usually stuff works from inventory, but I an ultimate decade challenge. I do all of the cooking from inventory, but it's all part of the old cookbook mod, not the in game stuff. So maybe that's the that's the difference. Let me see if it works now. If not, we're just getting nope, it's still still not recognizing it. I don't know here. Just go here. Now that you're not uncomfortable, come plant the garden. What's William doing? Oh, having himself a bath after a long, hard day. Oh, wait, how do I do that? See, I don't know. See, this is why I don't play with um, off the grid very much. So that makes sense that the ingredient. Ah, okay. Oh, well. It's in a random townie. Why is our sheep sleeping in? We have a dirty sheep sleeping on the floor of our bedroom. <laughs> um, William, can you come clean sheepy? Also, this is Sheepy, sheepy the sleepy sheep, sleeping on our floor. Ay, ay, ay. William, could you take care of that? Thank you. Sheepy, could you wake up? You're so cute. Can you live in the house? I love you. Little sleepy sheepy, he's so cute. He wanted to sleep on the animal hide. Here, while you're at it, go ahead and shear for wool. He's so cute. Okay, she's still planting. Little sheepy. <laughs> Nothing like.
like 1855. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done that in the house, William. Now you're making a mess. You want to go fishing? Is that what's up, buddy? You want to tell a joke and dance to stereo music. Okay. Oh, it's getting late. Where'd you go? Oh, good. You're finishing up. Here. Come help water. Okay, fall garden is underway. That's good news. We don't need a cat because we have sheepy. Is there like a special rug for them to sleep on, Rose? I feel like there's so much new gameplay stuff lately. I don't... I used to know the game so well, but now that I stream and do YouTube so much, I don't get a chance to like try out the new features. And then now I just don't know how all the stuff works here. Why don't you go clean off Billy the Kid? Oh no, she's feeling flirty. Are we, I think we're the second trimester. Third trimester in 22 hours. Wait, what happened? Aw, sheepy. Oh, they like to sleep. Yeah, there's two horse beds out here. So I put two horse beds out there because I like the animation with them cleaning the horse beds. Okay. Billy the kid, you're all clean too. Sorry, animals are good. She does have her pregnancy locked down. Okay. So that's done. Oh no, she's got to pee really bad. And then we need dinner. Okay. Hurry up and then let's get dinner underway. Cook off the grid. We need some ingredients. Maybe we'll just have to make, oh, let's do forage or stew. Let's do that. That seems appropriate for the time. William, come wait in line for the bathroom. In my first decades channel uh, challenge, I put a, I put a bench out by the toilet because they were all, there was like six Sims in that house or like, let's see, we had five kids. Yeah, so we had like seven Sims. They were always just sitting out on the bench waiting in line for the outhouse. Top of the cooking menu, unclick use prepped ingredients. But I have simple living on, so I have to have prepped ingredients, right? X collected and bees tended to. Um, I think I just had her do the wax recently. So partially full and no beeswax at the moment. So that's good. And then eggs were all collected. Yeah, all the eggs are collected. We need to get some meat and stuff. So we might need to, like once the chickens become elders, I'm gonna trade them in. That's true <laughs> with, the, with the, what's it called? Bladder release anywhere. Did you just put that underneath the? Okay, here, call your hubby to eat. What a wonderful day they had today. Cooked some meals, got the fall garden together, made a made a Monday trip to the to the general store. We had some cuddles. I didn't realize you could turn off prep ingredients with simple living. I am learning so much from you guys today. We will try that out. Let's check on the ice in the ice box as well. Icebox is still 68%, so they're doing good on that. You guys should uh, express fondness. Sounds lovely. You're a slow eater, Will. <laughs> ah, it's All right. She is a good homemaker. I wanted, I kind of want to create like her father and maybe like a sibling for her. So there's like a little bit more family. I usually end up adding them in after we know who's going to be the love interest. He does enjoy his wife's cooking. Let's see what's going to happen. Sharky. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. They will still need the ingredients, but they won't need to prep them. 
Uh -huh. She wants to flirt with someone actually so let's get her whim done with flirt this is the call before the star storm you guys y'all are about to have kids running around <laughs> i have to pee real bad welcome in okay so that whim is done mentor child skill we don't have a child yet he wants to earn 100 simoleons we can do that Actually, he needs to go use the outhouse. He can knock out one more. Oh, he didn't even finish it. Resume the bathtub on the woodworking. And she can go to bed. Get them to bed. They're getting on their schedule. These two lovebirds are so cute. She's helping him settle down a little bit. But I don't want him to settle down too much. He still has to still be Wild Willy, you know? Wait, auto mod? I turned auto mod off, I thought. You're in Illinois on a work trip, but still finding time to make it in for a bit. Welcome in. I hope your work trip is going well and not too stressful. As you deleted Twitch and redownloaded it, so hopefully it works now. Every time you open chat, it, oh, it wasn't working. I hope it's working now, too. I need you in my chat, Ash. Make a roof over the horse bed so they don't get wet in the rain. Oh, okay. Soon as we can afford it, which will be probably pretty soon with him doing the, with us working. Okay. William, let's get this done and get you to bed. Will selling these from inventory check off the earn 100 smillions? I think it will. Okay, so I don't know how many of those we have to sell. That might be the only one. Yeah, that's the only one. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're maintain we're basically maintaining ourselves around 1800 simoleons at the moment. Okay, off to bed we go. Yeah, Becca, yours messes up a lot too, I feel like, because you'll come in and try to say you're you're fixing it. Oh, you'll be chatting with yourself for like 20 minutes. No. But yeah, I haven't missed much. I've been playing real slow today. Look at our sheep babies. I'm not going to lock them out of the house. I think they're adorable inside the house. Oh, no, Madison. Get yourself to the toilet. Oh, boy. Well, don't yell at me. You're a grown woman. Oh, this is another one of her outfits. That's a cold weather outfit. Does it snow in Chestnut Ridge? I haven't ever played here before. It's only fall, so I imagine maybe in the winter. Good, we're up. We can go collect the eggs. Yay, it does snow because I love snow in the game. Winter is so beautiful. Let's come get the eggs first and feed our chickies. And then... Have we gotten any hatchable eggs yet? Let's see. No, that one's not hatchable. Okay, we'll tend the garden after she gets things underway. Let's go milk. No, 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 no. Not for simoleons. We need milk. We're going to have fresh egg, a fresh egg for breakfast. Yeah, the horses will have a shelter. We just only have so much money. So you guys... We'll get there. We'll get there. The where I'm actually going to build a barn in the back. I didn't show this part right here, but I ran out of money. But this is where William is going to build a barn for them. And it'll come out. I'll probably take this fence down. That's right here right now. And like wrap the fence around the back. And we'll build a barn. Like I might try to make like the animal shed look like it's connected to like the rest of the building. So we are going to have a, a barn. Okay. And, oh no, I forgot to put that away, which is probably fine because. See, turning off. Here, come make some bread because I think that will unlock a couple of. Oh no, why are we, are we having a mood swing? Oh, we're having a mood swing. We're irritable. Oh, no, and she got stung by the bees. 
Take it out on that dough girl. Take it out. <laughs> oh gosh. What's William? Do? Oh, they're both flirty. I kind of have an unspoken rule that when both my Sims are flirty at the same time, they have to woohoo. But she's already pregnant, so he wants to express devotion to her. Oh no, we're getting stung. Here, you tend to all of this, because this is kind of a mess. And then let's take care of that. I'm kind of savage. I just let them get stung. Full, so collect that. Get the beeswax. Okay. He's going on the garden. I did a little bit of work on it since... Uh, I did a little bit of work on it over the weekend. We gotta empty that trash. What can we make now? Yeah, now we can make eggs and toast. I was about to say. Here, feed that baby. Look at our look at our goats and our sheep just chilling. This is my favorite thing ever. Oh my gosh. They are adorable. It's my favorite thing today. Pregnant. Oh, girl, don't try to do more than what you're capable of. Tone it down. Tone it down. I think, Rose, I'm pretty sure the double woohoo will only have an impact if they do it within the first, like, if they do it before the first trimester moodlet comes up. But I haven't tested it enough to know for sure, and I don't want to risk it. Now that she's second trimester, I think, I don't think it would create twins. It has to be before they know they're pregnant, I think. But not something I want to find out about. Who's here? Who are you? You're lovely. Oh my god, it's Shania! She keeps showing up! She looks so beautiful in this outfit! Are we gonna become best friends with her? I think she's after our man. I am not kidding me. She is after my man. We're going to become friends with her to keep our enemies close. She always... Oh, we're going to share the big news. Make sure she knows. We're having a baby! They're going to be frenemies. Because we wanted to make a group for her. Wait, we don't even know her? And I bet William has not told her about his past with Shania, although it was, you know, nothing really happened with them. Oh, um, Twitchy Witchy, I was gonna move it to the other neighborhood, and I actually played around with trying it, but I just didn't like the desert aesthetic as much as I thought I was going to. So I decided to keep them here. I forgot to say that part. Um, so I tried it out this weekend, but I just didn't like it. This is William's worst nightmare. They were literally in love. He loved her here. Y'all gossip. Oh my God. And gush about your partner. Yes. Gush about partner. Oh my gosh. Hey, they're just acquaintances right now. Oh my God. Wait, William's got to, oh, I was going to say, he's got to walk in. He's already walking in. Can you imagine like, uh, he got uncomfortable. I know it's because he's wet, but he literally just got as uncomfortable as soon as he walked in the door. Oh my God. Just ask her about her day. Try to just be like, be chill. Just be chill, William. Ah, chul, chul. Did he just? Oh no! I did do some landscaping. Yeah, if any of you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll do a quick pan out before we get into the drama. 
I added some debug trees and stuff so they didn't cost any money. So we'll we'll look around. <laughs> Strawberries, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Back to days of our lives. <laughs> I swear to God, hold on. He had asked her to just be friends. They do not have a pink bar. They don't have any sentiments, but they do have good compatibility. I'm telling you, Shania, they love each other. This is not good. It said be flirted with, but I'm not sure who was flirting with him. Awkward. Oh, he's complimenting Madison's appearance. He's making sure, baby, you're so beautiful. I love you. And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see myself out. Oh my gosh. Rose, have a good appointment. Do I roll for her when she gives birth? I do. I do. So there'll be a, a roll for Madison and a roll for the baby. And the rolls for the babies are kind of high, so... Um, okay, their green bar is going up. What kind of... I was just thinking about groups. Okay, so this is to join the church congregation. Do we think Madison is a church-going girl? Because if she is, then we can have the group meet for church on Sundays. Um... Oh my goodness. Hello, Sonova. Yeah, I have reshade. Um, so they just dropped it in the chat. Um, let me see. What did you say? Purple Empress. Oh yeah, maybe. I was like, I forgot I asked a question. <laughs> yeah, let's say we'll join church congregation. Welcome to church congregation. Happy that you've decided to join our club. No, we're not going to church right now. We'll go to church. We'll go to Bible study. <laughs> oh. But I still want her to have like a knitting club or something. Are they fighting? Oh, she's having a mood swing and now they're fighting. Shania just insulted us. I didn't even have to create the drama. The drama is just creating itself. Like, oh. The jewel, not a drim. Scridge. I can't narrate this. William's gonna send her home. You should probably leave. She is not happy. So, so. Hold on, let me put Shania seeing herself away. Oh, there is so much potential for storylines here. Oh my God. If you guys are watching the replay on YouTube, <laughs> I want ideas in the comments and you guys in chat right now, if you have ideas. Oh my goodness. Stomping away. Bye, Felicia. She said her mama was a llama. Oh my God, probably. Those pregnancy mood swings. Okay, she's going to need a bath to calm down. He needs a bath. I need to get him going on money. Oh, no, William, go repair the windmill. We need power. You go do that first. I also need to upgrade their bed. That was funny. William told her off for talking bad about Madison. So, Nova, you've been playing since 2000 but never really got into challenges. I'm not a big rule follower. I wrote myself some rules for this one, but I mainly, the only rules that I really want to follow is just doing death rolls. Otherwise, the rest of my rules are just optional. <laughs> but I like this. I like the decades challenge because of the aesthetic, mostly. Okay, William's almost done fixing the, the windmill. We got that going. Good job, Will. Oh, also, he's level 10. Um, let's scavenge for point, parts because I want to upgrade the bed, and we need some parts for that. We're cheerful. That's ironic after that encounter. Okay, here, throw that away. I want to see if the trash can's working because they keep throwing the trash on the ground. Yeah, Gina, I like to use the challenges as suggestions rather than rules. 
Okay, she's good. Let me see what we got from the garden. If there's anything we need a can. I'm gonna just sell all the green beans. Cause those are like our money makers at the moment. We'll keep the mushrooms cause those are good for um, cooking. You can do like mushroom soup and stuff. Lemons are hard to come by. So I'm just gonna hold on to all of those. What just happened? Uh, okay, we've got two upgrade parts and one plumbing upgrade part. Carrots. Do I want to plant some more carrots? How did this get moved over here? You go over there. We'll do some more carrots. And then we'll outhouse and then, then we'll see. The sheep are cute. Wait, hold on, I missed a lot. Yeah, rules are for sure guidelines. Is the sheep going in there with us? I think he needs some loving. Billy the kid, do you need some attention? You're kind of in an awkward position for us at the moment. Hi there, cutie. I love these interactions. They're so cute. What do you want, a cupcake? Aww. Here, gather some water from the pump and have a bath. Look, it's Fanny Mae! She's out. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> well, there she was for a second. She was looking stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wait, hold on. Are you done? You've got a uh, water. And then how are our chickens doing? They're young adults. Okay, so they're gonna be around a while. We need to get some meat though. So maybe what I'm gonna do, cause we're doing decent on money, is I'm gonna purchase, just for like realism, I'm gonna purchase a few more chickens, but then we're gonna trade some of them in for meat. Probably just one at a time, so it, it doesn't spoil. Why am I, why am I, purchase chickens? Okay, let's get, a black hen, a brown hen, we'll do that. And then I want a cow. I really like this one. I have some custom, custom animals. Okay, we got it. They're just like goats. And Mr. Porkchop, welcome in. Okay, what were we up to? He had a bath. Just until baby gets here, I'm gonna keep him going on woodworking. Do we have enough upgrade parts to upgrade the bed? What were you saying I needed to upgrade, Rose? Wait, no, Rose is gone, dang it. She, oh wait, she was telling me mattress firmness. Two common upgrade parts. I thought you had two common upgrade parts. Oh. We do have two common upgrade parts. Don't ask me. Here, go ahead, let's go meet the cow. So we can get a relationship so we don't get stomped when we milk him later or her. We have to name the cow! Which Sim game was my first Nova? Actually, Sims won when I was in middle school. And I used to get in trouble for staying up all night playing, but all I really did was build. If you played Sims 1, there was like a big lot at the top of the map. And all I did all the time was decorate that lot constantly. I would sometimes do gameplay, but not very often. Ooh, let's get rid of our umbrella. Disable. Disable umbrella. What are we gonna name our cow? You guys give some name suggestions and we can do a poll and name our cow if you want. 
The herbs? Is that... I don't even know what that is. Who are you? Oh, that's one of the... That was one of the love interests. Why are all these women just showing up at our house to talk to William? I think she was spicy nude sim. I kept getting her confused with Eden Smith. Eden Smith was Britney's sim. I kept getting them confused last stream. You linked a lot of the animals from Kalino for me in Discord. That's the ones that I have. I don't know if there's any that I'm missing, but those are the ones that I have. Daisy! I like that name. My last one was... um. Here, come do some canning. Oh wait, not cook off the grid. Here, let's just put this in the fridge because we do have ice. It still says 68%. Homemade canning. Ooh, let's just do meat substitute. I mean, I don't think that's really, um, like they wouldn't have meat substitute necessarily. Maybe they would, <laughs> but that'll give us some recipes since I was saying we need meat. Your dad has a fat cat named Daisy. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. First time you played, your family had eight people in it. It was utter chaos, I bet. Oh, they took the children away to military school. Oh my gosh. I feel like I don't remember anything about gameplay from that time period. Yeah, go ahead and clean the horses. And then we need to clean the pen as well. Because I've been... Life on the farm. It's going to get more eventful once we have the kids. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not able to see the mod stuff. Or like the things that are getting blocked, I guess. I thought auto mod was off, but now I'm confused. Oh, wait, and the horses need more feed. Wait, no. Refill with prairie grass. Uh, go clean. For some reason, we can't pick that up. So I will pick the poo up for you, William. I like the animation of them cleaning the stalls, though. I grew up having to clean horse stalls, so I wouldn't say nostalgic is the right word necessarily, but it does remind me of my childhood. Good job, William. You've really taken to this farm life quite well. Let's go check in with your wife because she's done with the canning. Here. Put in inventory and let's do another meat substitute because that should give us some recipes that we can make. Meat substitute. Am I playing too slow? You guys tell me if I'm playing too slow. I'm just enjoying slowing down. But if you guys are bored, we can speed it up. I mean, we've got, you know, Shania popping over randomly. We've got, oh. still got a little bit of drama. Irish, you love Sims 2, the neighborhood feature in the Sims family's background. I keep trying to remember if I played Sims 2, but I really don't think I did. I was like looking at the UI of it and stuff, and I just don't think I did. I think I only had Sims 1, and it was on a CD, and I used to play it on a laptop. Or no, 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 I didn't play it on a laptop. I played it on our family computer in the living room, and I used to cheat back in the day. Oh no, our stove broke. William, honey. Are you going to finish this on the broken stove? I think I have a mod where she can ask to repair. <laughs> Purple Empress, Sears. I'm playing how I feel comfortable. That's all you guys want. Sounds good. Some days I feel like playing fast and sometimes I play slow. And today is a slow day. Animation error. Is it because of the... I don't think we're going to be able to finish because the stove is broken. William, where are you, honey? Gasinar Quill. Ask to repair. What pet names do we think they used in this time? Darlin? I think he would call her Darlin. Or Honey. Honey! Uh, the stove is broken. Glaive, Narza. Oh. <laughs> With 
Game Nova. Let's see if this works. Yay! Yeah, that bot is gonna be super hot. I, you have to fix this stove, William. I wanted this stove so bad. <laughs> stove looks dangerous. It's the same animation as the... What stove does that... Is that base game? The, like, the black one with the logs underneath it? It's the same animation as that. Alright, you can come and... Oh, girl, you need to... Bathroom first. Then we gotta make some dinner. I didn't realize it was so late. Maybe we'll have leftover breakfast for dinner. Oh, what are you having? Milk? <laughs> ah, it's ankle. Okay, you're doing pretty good, so maybe could you do another bathtub and then we'll go into build mode and sell those. We're at 2100 simoleons, and once we sell his bathtubs, I think we'll be doing pretty good. No, 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 not bed. Finish that. Finish what you started. We're not going to let that go to waste. Oh, no, I don't know if it's going to let us finish it. Why won't it work? Oh, is it cause? Oh no, we wasted the ingredients for that. I think I'm gonna have to destroy it. I don't know. It won't work. Werewolves. He needs milk after battling a stove fire. Um, maybe it did get ruined. Oh well. I'll just destroy it. It's not the end of the world. She needs to make dinner anyway. What can we make? Tomato soup, faux BLT. I think we're gonna stick to, f oh, mushroom soup would be nice. Yeah, make some mushroom soup. It's a nice cold fall night. I wanna have her make chili, but I think we're gonna need meat for that. I don't think, I unchecked used prepped ingredients earlier and because Simple Living's on it was still, it didn't change anything. But I'll check it again next time. Dang it, our candle went out too. Need a new fresh candle. Auto light. Okay. Technically you can sell those like melted candles for like 25 simoleons, but that just doesn't seem very realistic to me. So I'm just gonna throw them away. Okay, call your hubs to dinner, and then we should be getting close. Ah, Let's see, we are... Where's pregnancy? Okay, she's give birth and question mark, question mark, question mark. And here's where we have to make a decision, because to have... She's going to need a birth partner, but I don't think William would be her birth partner. So before they go to bed for the evening, I kind of want to, like... I was like, maybe Mrs. Hooper is like the town midwife. Like she's like the, well, they're, they're adults, but they're made to look like elders. So I'm like, maybe she's like the lady who comes around and like helps them give birth. So maybe Mrs. Hooper could be our, our birth partner. They have to have like, I think a 70% friendship or something like that. So I could just cheat that. Cause obviously, um, but does she need to be in our household? Or can, does it work if she just comes over? Because um, that's the only thing I'm not sure of. Let me see if she's in our friendship panel. Yeah, she's in our friendship panel. I just need to cheat. I'm going to just make us have like an 80% friendship. Mrs. Hooper's on good terms with everyone. So I'm just not 100% sure. I was reading the d description of the mod the other day, but reading the reading the reading how it works versus playing with it are two very different things. Hold on, put away. You'll get some rest in just a second. It would work, you just have to call her. Okay. Maybe we should go ahead and, even if she doesn't stay for the whole night, I wanna invite her over now just to make sure if there's anything I need to do. We're gonna have to get the, the pillows that go on the bed for her to be able to ha have the baby. 
So let's see. Yeah, here she is. She's going to come check on the baby. So let's invite her in. Oh, I clicked on William. I meant to click on. Whoops. Uh, yams. Ah, kangaroo. Okay, let me check the mod. If I shift click, let's just have a quick little look. See, childbirth settings. I changed it to where she'll wear her own clothes. So I want to give her a specific outfit before we start that. Um, I forget where the menu is for this mod. If I were to... Can I not choose her as my birth partner until we go into labor? Is that how it works? I think so, because I don't have any anything on there. In the 1800s, 30 to 40 was elder. If you made it to the 50s or older, you were ancient. I think they're like in their 50s they're, well, <laughs> or something like that, or like closer to 60. Should be able to ask her now. I cheated their relationship to 80%. I just feel like it should have its own high menu. Let me see. Under, because it said it could be a friend. They just had to have like a high relationship. But let me check under romance. No. Huh. Let me see if we click on William. Romance. Belly hug. Oh, pregnancy cuddle. I see that now. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're going to need to go to sleep. Hi, Mrs. Hooper. We're expecting the baby very soon. She's like, oh, yeah, I think she's going to be here before tomorrow. She's just checking on us, making sure we're doing all right. Wow, this is very intense. The animations are, like, so detailed. Oh, I love this. Hold on. I know you keep trying to go to bed, but let me see if you can. Ask to accompany childbirth. There we go. You're going to be here, right? If if we go into labor tonight, you can come back over, right? <laughs> of course, I will do anything for you. <laughs> All right, you can go home now. We'll call you back over if we go into labor. I love that Mrs. Hooper's going to deliver the baby. Wait, then choose what kind of labor you want. Call. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which menu is that under? I remember doing this the one time I used this mod. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's inviting her to feel the baby again. She's so happy to have her baby. How cute. What's the difference between natural and home birth? I want home birth, right? Does clicking on it select it? Because I want to read what the options are. Okay, home. That's what I thought. And I have it set up to where there'll be no um, emergency C-sections at the hospital because that's what happened when I played with it the one time in Ultimate Decades and it broke my immersion. And it really made me mad. So I turned off that nothing should go wrong. And then I want to go and cast with her real quick. 
because I have it set to where she'll wear her own outfit, but I read that you have to put them in the outfit that you want them in when they give birth. And I'm gonna pick a kind of, I'm gonna pick a kind of gruesome outfit, I think, but you'll see. I think I wanna do, not that one. Is there one that's less intense? Yeah, maybe one like that. No slippers. Okay. That's how we're gonna make it realistic. That's gonna be her giving birth. I think that's the only one that, maybe that one. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself for a bad roll with this, but we'll see. Come get ready for bed. We're gonna have a baby. Okay, just put your nice nightgown on so far. And William. Aw, he's helping us prep for baby. He's cleaning up for us. Are you going to bed? Go to sleep. You just, our wife is broken. It says she's sleeping. I can't, there we go. Now I can reset her. Yeah, she got stuck. Madison, Madison, I'm really worried about you at the moment. Madison, you're, you're scaring me. Madison. I'm going to take your custom content off because, yeah, I am going to save. I'm going to take that outfit off because that's the only thing that I changed was trying to give her that new outfit, which I use that other outfit in uh, Ultimate Decades, like on all my Sims, but we'll take that off and we'll save. I don't know what's going on with her. I hope it's not the childbirth mod. I just downloaded it yesterday, so it sh should be up to date. Wait, wrong. Madison, are you, are you no longer possessed? Oh, thank God. I think it has something to do with that nightgown. Okay, William. Baby's coming either tonight or in the morning sometime because I didn't pay attention to when it said any, any time. Okay, how long have we been going? Almost an hour and a half? Okay, maybe we should do a quick break before the baby comes because once the baby comes, we're going to be very busy. So I feel like right now is a, a nice calm before the star storm. Okay, William, he is literally singing outside. This man wants to be a singer so bad. We'll get you performing down at the saloon. Don't you worry. We'll start building your guitar skill. So let me let, get him down. Let's sell what we have in um, build mode real quick. Okay, pause them. Because he made quite a few. Oh, he made two bathtubs. Well, two is better than none. So we're up to 32, 33. You know, we're not, we're not rich. Okay, let's do a break in case she goes into labor during the night. Because I'm going to need you guys' help because... I really struggled the first time I used this mod. You've got to like make them walk and you've got to like do all the stuff to like induce labor. It takes quite a long time. So we are going to prepare ourselves for that. Saving like four times because I'm so paranoid now. Okay. In that time, they're upper middle class. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so. Okay. So let me get my... Music up real quick and we'll do a break. And then we're gonna have a baby. Just cheat it so that she gives birth immediately. I Can I do it once labor starts? Cause I don't know, I kind of like some of the animations at the beginning. 
Okay, anyways, let's do quick BRB. See you guys in just a few. man i want it to be red hair what color what do you think what hair color will the baby be born with that is such an excellent question i'm rooting for red that's why i married madison if you watch my ultimate decades challenge and if you watch my previous decades challenge or if you watched any of this challenge <laughs> you know i love red hair i'm really pulling for it stella's baby got blonde hair yeah, we can do two different votes. Wait, why is it running another ad? It literally just said it ran an ad. What is happening? Uh, 
I'm confused. I literally just waited for the ad to finish running to come back from break. Now it says another ad is running. But anyways, um, Sims love red, so it may get my wish. Except for Ultimate Decades, the blonde ran strong in my Ultimate Decades challenge. So we'll do... We'll do bets on gender. So we'll do bets before the gender. And then I want to turn off because I saw D Sims. You said that I could turn off. I don't think I could do it till she wakes up. We'll go ahead and wake her up and have her go to the bathroom. So that way I can... Um, I'll do it to where... Yeah, because it takes forever. So I'll... Remove dilation from the sim. This should only be performed when a sim is dilating when they are not supposed to. For example, when... How do I... T I thought that's how I turned it off. Okay. Once she's in labor. Okay. Perfect. That's what we'll do then. So let's go... Our middle of the night bathroom visit. And then when she's in labor... Except for May, exactly. In, in Ultimate Decades, May did get the red hair. Okay, now it says the ad's over. Good. I didn't want anybody to miss labor. All right, woman, get yourself back in bed. You are exhausted. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. She's going to go in labor in the night. I don't know. Then let's see, let's check the calendar. Okay, Wednesday, it is now. Man, time is passing by fast. It is 18.56. First day of 18.56. Wait, is she not? Okay, I was gonna say, I thought her sleep was still red. Here, you... We've got to um, hopefully get the farm underway. Wait, what happened to all of our plants? Oh, well, we've got apples. Out in the rain, tend in our farm. Poor baby comes. He is going to end up being a soldier. Well, potentially. There's going to be basically like a lottery. So I'm going to put all their names into like a random name selector. And we'll see for each year of the war, 1861 to 1865, we'll put all of the male sims that are um, young adult and adult into a random name generator. And I'll figure out what the percentages of like how many get selected. So, I mean, there's not going to be that many sims. So there's a chance that he'll probably get selected. And I don't think we're going to have enough money to um buy ourselves out of it here come collect the eggs i haven't written the rules yet so i'm gonna flesh that out but that'll essentially be how it'll be because i read about it and not everyone got drafted they did like a lottery every year of the war to see who got drafted and a lot of rich people just paid their way out wow. hey we just got a lot of eggs Any hatchable? No. Okay, let's get those in the fridge before I forget. And then check the ice. I don't know why the ice level's not going down. You're uncomfortable because your bed sucks and you're soaking wet. I get it. I get it. I tried to upgrade this, but it says we don't... We have two common upgrade parts. I don't understand... Yeah, just go do whatever you're going to do to the garden. You're taking a real long time in here. She's knitting. She is knitting on the toilet. We'll better make a lot of bathtubs for real. Yeah, it'll be like a hunger, like a hunger games kind of a situation. She is literally in there knitting. I'm just going to leave her be. Bless her heart. She's about to go into birth. Or go into birth. Go into labor. Gotta make those baby clothes is right. Oh, I didn't mean to switch to her. Um, Will, are you super... You're not really that hungry. So finish weeding the garden. Let's check on the bees. Honey is full. Okay, collect honey. 
And then I, you're not wrong about him making more bathtubs. <laughs> Actually clean the stall the horse bed first. That's the only thing about this custom content B box I don't like is how the thing flips up, but that's fine. I still like it overall. Yeah, I have to add the birthing pillows, so I've got to do that. I might as well go ahead and do that actually pretty soon. Getting everything ready for baby. What else can you do if you don't have an iPhone? Knitting on the toilet. She's still in there. Look at her go. You can see her little dress poking out. Will is working hard today. <gasps> Stella is wondering if you want to go over to her house and hang out. Absolutely. Is that a sign that he was thinking about Stella? Are we going to interpret that? Were we thinking about Stella? You're about to have a baby, William. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's take care of these guys. Where's Billy the kid? Why can't we shear? Hey, sheepy. Get some more wool for your wife. There she is. Our horse loving gal. They're so cute. Oh yeah, you are hungry. No, you're not gonna eat bread. You're gonna, I think we have some leftovers. Yeah, go get some eggs and toast. I don't really love doing leftovers in Decades Challenge, but for, for now, I'll allow it. Go do some bathtubs. I know you're soaking wet and... And then let me go ahead and grab the birthing pillows because I feel like she is gonna go into labor. And let's save Kodo, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. I don't remember where to find them. So I'm going to have to just do a search. Why is the search bar so slow? Come on. Birth. Hello. It's in beds. Okay. Is her, ooh, I always forget that the thing blinks. You guys taught me that in the last decades challenge. I had never noticed that little detail before. Okay, here's the birthing pillows. Do they need to go? Will that, I, I know they look kind of weird, but I think, that will be fine. I didn't alt place them. I wanted them to just be like uh, there. So I think that will function. It worked when I did it in Ultimate Decades Challenge. Let me see. Are we blinking? We're not. We're not blinking yet. Crimbo Darcy. Oh, she's feeling the baby though. She's ready. She's ready. Once it starts blinking, we'll have to bring, um, we'll invite over uh, Mrs. Hooper. Yay, baby's coming. Oh. Hurry up and eat that food. <laughs> Clean up. Oh, I want to add laundry too. I want another chore, but maybe we'll wait till after the kids come. Come and we got to show that you're like actually about to have a baby. Let's relax. Just chill for a bit. Keep an eye on that. Craving healthy food. We're not blinking yet. It's going to be a minute. Maybe you can do some more knitting. Get some socks. Just 
sit out on the porch, listen to the rain, and do some knitting. You make money for that baby. Are you hungry? You can get some mushroom soup in a minute. Did I say kids? Oh god, Stella, stop calling. Have double cribs just in case. No! Okay, I'm keeping an eye. We're not blinking yet. No twins. I will lose my mind. Although the one time we... The, twi the time we had twins in uh, decades in the first generation... In 1890, those twins were actually, like, so easy to take care of. But we had a bunch of older kids to help with stuff around the lot. And I think that's why that was less stressful. Whereas when we had twins in the mansion... Look at this chicken! <laughs> it, like, paused with this chicken, like, in the air. I'm not adding a second crib. I'm not taking chances. You like giving them the frugal trait because it lets them check if food is still fresh and sometimes the food lasts twice as long. That's a good tip. Okay, William, now you can come get some leftovers, buddy. Oh, also, I got us a marketplace table. I forgot that's sitting there because I was thinking maybe she could sell some of her. We could put it in our inventory and maybe we could go sell some of our canned items out front the general store. Like Mr. Hooper lets people in town come and set up and sell some of their own stuff. I thought that would be cute because a lot of people show up outside of the show up at the general store a lot. Wait, is there a fire? Why do we think there's a fire? Sometimes that outhouse catches on fire. Look at her. She's just getting ready for baby. We're still not blinking, man. When is this baby coming? Here, you can clean up after yourself today because your wife is about to have a baby. I love how she sits and fills her stomach. William, why don't you come out? Oops. You guys come have a moment. Oh, no. The chicken coop is dirty. Well, William, I'm sending you out on a chore first. I was going to have him come play guitar for her, but we got stinky chickens. Tax day, baby. Welcome in. Forgot about the food stall. Hope someone makes a mod to make one that fits decades. Me too. I really hope so. I feel like someone will for sure. I feel like they for sure will. And the frugal trait also cuts down the bills in eco living. One of the other traits deals with the freshness of foods. Um... You're Amanda, welcome in. Oh, Freegan, not Fugo. Oh, the trait, the trait, the trait. Okay, where's she going? She loves her plants. I'll let you go out in the garden. You're gonna get all wet though. Sheepy, where you going? Go inside and get in out of the rain, Sheepy. Um. Here, you're gonna, you better waddle yourself over to that toilet. Are we blinking yet? Not yet. Hurry up, woman. Ready to have this baby. He's like checking in on her. Yeah, might as well go clean that shed too. How come our cow hasn't come out in a while? Woman, I swear to God. Only, only a woman in 1850 would still be out working the farm, about to go into labor. Here, get some beeswax, because you're going to need that for candles. Might as well go make a candle. I know, I want to change her into her her night outfit, or her, her night outfit, her PJs. You love The Sims 4, love this era, you play on Xbox console. Awesome. Okay, William, go. Oh my god. Joe and Stella, I feel like... Oh, we have to go. So after this baby is born, I'll make sure before stream is over today that we'll go check in on um, little James. 
Okay, use and then, woman, you're bound to be blinking soon. Oh my god. We're about to have a baby. No one shows up at our door more than this woman. Oh my god, and then... Oh, I thought he was in the outhouse. I literally thought that he was still in the outhouse. She is just walking around like she owns the place. Here, come. Okay, change your outfit and get a nap. I don't want you to be exhausted when this baby comes. Go get a nap. Still not blinking. Jesus, the longest pregnancy ever. Okay, you rest. Oh, no, but now that leaves William up with Shania. Okay, she's just in our outhouse doing whatever. Well, here, go... Another bathtub, because we're getting our money up. We're almost to 4,000 smillions. I can't remember if we have one in our inventory. I think we do. I'm ignoring Shania and just see if she comes over and talks to us. Keep an eye on her. She really is walking around like she owns the place. Woman. She wants to be a sister wife. We're going to send her away. Oh, we have a red... We have a red bar with her now yeah just tell her to go away again because that'll keep building your red she's leaving oh <gasps> william william it's time she's like it's been a year remember me i'm back have a woohoo that will induce her Why is the woohoo music playing? She is self woohooing. She is like, I am getting this baby out of here. Mrs. Hooper, Mrs. Hooper, it's time. Do you not know Mrs. Hooper? Okay, honey, now that you've finished, um, Taking care of yourself. Um, yes, let's save. And before the baby's born, we got to do a, a poll if you think it's going to be a girl or a boy. Or, I mean, a bet. That is the second time. She's like, get this child out of me. Oh, no, we're hungry and tired. Okay, get Mrs. Hooper over. Oh, he's freaking out. Of course you're freaking out. It's time! Okay, so she's headed over. I want them to do... Where do I find the interaction, though? It's called, like, Sway. Okay, hold on. This is the first time he's going to see the birth of his child. It's a romance. Okay. Does it work even if he's not the birth partner, though? Pregnancy cuddle. All they can do is pregnancy cuddle. Okay, let's just get Mrs. Mrs. Hooper, where are you? Oh, and there goes William. Where is she? It said she would be right over. Last time she showed up right away. Mrs. Hooper! This baby is coming now. If you could please put a little bit of urgency in your steps, that would be great. Iris, you gotta go, you gotta early morning. No worries, no worries at all. Okay, he's waiting outside for Mrs. Hooper, yeah, probably. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Irish. 
Astro Baba Exonoy. <laughs> yeah, this far. Yes, the quiz. All right, so now this is where I'm going to have to pause a lot to try to learn how to use this mod. She's got a pee. Should I just cheat her? We're just going to cheat her bladder for right now. We're going to say she she made it. Um, I don't know. Okay, childbirth settings. It says this should only be performed when a sim is dilating when they are not supposed to. For example, when a non-pregnant sim is getting labor-related movements. Oh, give birth immediately. Unlocks the, okay. Never mind. figured it out. <laughs> Save. Okay, this part's gonna be kind of slow while I learn how to use the mod. And then once we know how to use it, we should be pretty good from here on out. So, um, we had the option before, or maybe I need to click on her. Start home birth, that's the, okay, hold on. Madison is going into labor, okay, okay, we're making progress. We can go for a pregnancy walk. Where are you going on your pregnancy walk? Well, I guess I don't really have to do this because I said give birth immediately, but I still like the animations. You are already here, Patsy. Okay, head back inside. Sure, I don't want you to get a negative mood. Is this where her water broke? Is this her water broke? Okay, what is this saying? Contraction pain. Madison's contractions are definitely uncomfortable, but manageable for now. Perhaps she should rest up while she can or maybe take a walk. Okay, we did that. One way or another, she should definitely take advantage of this calm before the storm. Oh my God, I can't believe her water broke. I feel like we're, sp okay, sway together. Here we go. This is the animation that I really like. Patsy, please help Mrs. Hooper. It hurts so bad. Meanwhile, she's like breaking her back over there. Get this baby out of me, please. Please. Oh. I like this with their spouses, but it is still cute with like the the midwife. It's okay, honey. I know it's your first one, but you can do this. You can do it. It's a rite of passage. <laughs> look, look at her face. She does look like she's in so much pain. Oh, Madison. It's so cute. William? <laughs> it's like, let me clean up this mess. Look at him. Oh, no, he thought about cleaning up the mess. How long are you guys going to sway? Oh, well, she's reassuring us. All right, you, you don't even have like a bubble going anymore. Okay, we're gonna have the baby with Patsy. You guys can stop any minute now. There they go. I think it's time. Okay. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Before they start, though, we're going to do our bets real quick. They're about to go and do it. It's very graphic. I was not prepared for how graphic it was. It is when I played this on Ultimate Decades Challenge. Oh, they're going to kiss. Oh, well. I get that it's designed for couples. Just 
pretend like they don't kiss. Um, let's do. Da -da 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 -da. Start a prediction. Assuming it's one. Okay, here we go. Get your bets in. Everyone get your bets in. Are we having a boy? Are we having a girl? I want to see what you think. This one's hard because I did not look at the... Oh, we... you guys are saying boy. Oh, girl. Oh, someone really went all in on girl. Oh. Tax day, baby. Thank you for the follow. All right, let's go. And Hex Nurse, thank you for that follow as well. Here we go. I'm real nervous about the mom, so we're saving again just in case. She's really exhausted. I, I'm nervous about that. Why are we putting our swimwear outfits on? No, 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 no. Not a last exception. Hydrate, thank you. Mm. I'm not sure why you missed them. I don't know how they show up on you guys. I'm wondering if the animation, if I'm gonna have to move where this thing is, is that's what's giving me the last exception here? I will seriously be so sad. I'm gonna cheat her energy just a little bit. Okay, try again, because I don't know what went wrong. They always wear swim for this. Why can we not have the baby? Is it because... Because of where I placed the... Do they need to be a little bit more up? I don't know. I don't, I'm scared it's not gonna work. Sarpava Nubu. Oh, more hey close up. Oh. It's time. It keeps saying having baby delivered, but not you're not. See, this is why I took this mod out in in Ultimate Decades Challenge, because it like really ruined, like it's like so much potential, but I don't know why it's not working. Oh. Move the barrel out of the way for now and give them more room. Is that what it is? Okay, oh, if it doesn't work, I'll move it. Yeah, I don't know what is causing. Let's move everything. where that green square completely fits in here. You know they'd be shuffling furniture around to have this baby. Come on, Patsy, get this baby out of me. Kalang and Sula. Shalade. Alarafa. Bob Saini. See, it's not, it keeps saying having baby delivered and then it's doing the full interaction. It's not working. So I think I'm going to just have to do it regular. Will it mess anything up if I just say have baby? We're just going to have to do it old school until I figure out why it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. But at least we still had all the other animations, like the swaying and stuff. Wait, turn it sideways? Oh, I already started it. I don't think I can stop it now. We'll have to do it next time. It's not a custom content bed. Can I reset her? Oh, I want to see this real quick. I forgot about this animation. We got to do the breathing first. Sorry, you guys bear with me. I'm learning. Breathe, Madison, breathe. I'm gonna cheat her deeds because I'm just struggling. He's freaking out. 
Will it work if I turn this sideways? Is that like what it's intended to be? I just feel like it doesn't make sense where to put this. Try unassisted on the bassinet. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing and I really want to try it. But it's a really good mod when you know what you're doing. Unassisted birth. I wish she wasn't. I wish we weren't hanging out of the the house. <laughs> it says Panda Sam a realistic childbirth mod package. So something is going on with it. Okay, minus the hanging out the side of the house. Madison, could you be any more dramatic? He's freaking out. I'd be freaking out if my wife was hanging halfway out the house. So now I know you have to put them where you want them first. It's a girl. Okay, back to the bed so I can... Who bet girls? Someone went real big all in on girls. So someone just got... Hold on, let me find... Oh my the... god, oh my goodness, oh my god. Choose outcome. It's a girl. Gina, it was you. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need a name. It can't be anything close to Madison because I have a real tendency. If it was me, I'd be like, let's name it Addison. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Girl names in chat. What old timey names. I like like Mabel or like Esther <laughs> or like um like real real old timey um let's look up oh Lucy I really like Lucy Mabel was my great grandma's name that's where I got that one Marigold I think I'm gonna stay away from the M's though even though I said Mabel I think we stay away from M's because of Madison and I get them all confused I really like Lucy what do you guys think about Lucy because that won't be anything too close. You did all your points for girl. Oh my gosh, you guys who did girl did really good. Ooh, Emma's really pretty too. Lucy is Lucille Violet. Okay, let's do a, um, let me pick a few of the ones. I like Lucy. I like these are good. I like Pity Josephine. I'm gonna stay away from the M's just because of Margaret. Okay, I'm gonna do one minute poll. Let me see which one you guys like the most. Because I like all of those. Lucy, Penny. I think I did all oh, Francis I would have put on there. Penelope, I will not use because of my oh, I like Lillian too. Dang it, I'm already running it. Um, we can hold on to some of them because we'll probably have another girl. Ooh, these, this is going to be close because they're all so cute. I do really like Lucy, though. So we're, Lucy's winning. Um, The death rolls. Oh, and we have to do the death rolls. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. You never get the polls either, Epic Nurse? I'm wondering, because there's like a couple of you that don't see it. And I have, unfortunately, no idea why. Winnie Westbrook. Oh, that's cute, Brandy. Josie for Josephine would be really cute. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was so close. And then at the end, Josephine was only one away. Yeah, if it would have been Josephine, we would call her Josie. If we have another girl, I really like that one. Like Lucy and Josie. That would be really cute. Plum Bob, welcome in. Lucy Westbrook. Some help you were, Mrs. Hooper. We tried, we tried. Oh my God. Okay, next time I know not to have her sitting 
outside the house, but otherwise, this is freaking adorable. <laughs> he is still freaking out. William, you can stop freaking out about now. That was really sweet. Okay, I'm glad even though it was like really hard, I'm glad we did it. She's so exhausted, hungry, and needs a shower. Oh my gosh. Let's oh my god, say. oh my goodness, oh my god. That was so cute, baby Lucy. I love it. <laughs> I love how Will was freaking out. He's going to be real freaking out when he finds out he also has another child. Okay, but unfortunately, um, I need to get my rules because we have to do... How did I set this up? I based it on actual, like, census data. So there's only a 1% chance for... For... Um, Madison, but the newborns are really high. So we're going to do a D20, and if they roll a 2, 6, 10, or a 14, then the newborn does not survive. Yeah, we're doing death rolls. This is like, um, I got this idea from the Ultimate Decades Challenge by Morbid Gamer, and it just adds a little bit of extra spice. But it can get really sad if the babies don't make it. Um, okay, so let's do Madison first. So I've got a spin wheel for the 100s. So for her, it's just that she rolls a one, which is very unlikely. But I said that last time. All right. I'm not going to do it. Maybe in the future we'll do bets on death rolls. But for right now, that took so long. Let's just spin. Whew. 19. Okay. Madison survives. Let me figure out how to get out of this. Okay, Madison is safe. Oh, because William didn't have very good luck. Okay, now this is the one I'm nervous about. Let me get out the, the D20. Okay. And the numbers are... What did I say? Two, six, 10, or 14, we do not want. Two, six, 10, or 14. All right, rolling for Lucy. Woo! Yes! Lucy survives! Whew, that was 20% chance of death. But we have to roll again at infant, toddler, and then I think I have it once there. Yeah, so they only have to death roll for newborn, infant, and toddler. And from that point on, it's just if they get sick or have an accident. Yay! Uh, Grace Lady, welcome in. We did it. Okay, hold on. Choose preferences. Okay, now we have to get laundry so we can have cloth diapers. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was seriously stressful. Okay, let me grab laundry out real quick so we can do cloth diapers. We need a hamper. A, um, we're up to 4,200 simoleons. We've been working hard. Let me get my custom content one that turns the clothes white, this one. Maybe we'll just put it. Let's move William's pile of wood. And just put it here, like, in the corner. Let's just put it there. And wait, no, this is outdoor as well. The laundry. I thought I downloaded the custom content wood one. I can't remember if I did or not. Laundry. Where are you? I'm blind. It ain't that much money. Okay, hold on. Back to the top. It is under outdoor activities, right? Or am I... Oh, right here. 
Okay, I think I did download a custom content one, so I will see if I can find that at some point. But for right now, that will do. Oh, I forgot I had these at the general store. I could have bought them at the general store, but I forgot. And a hamper. This custom one. I'm just going to put it outside. Well, no, because the baby's diapers probably... We'll put it... We'll put it here, right by the door. And I did, I got a mod that should make the hamper not fill up very quickly. So that will be quite nice. Okay, there we go. Found it, finally. So now we can have cloth diapers. Cloth diapers, and we already did breastfeeding. So let's feed our baby. Baby Lucy. So it'll be newborn for one day. I don't get a changing table. And the reason is because if the kid, once they're infants, like they'll always take the kid all the way to the changing table to change them. So I just prefer them to change the diaper like wherever the kid is. So I actually, I, I don't know if that's like an unpopular thing, but I don't ever use changing tables. Lumba. <laughs> Yeah, get you some rest. I know you're like hungry and need a shower, but you're exhausted. You just had a baby. She did it! This baby is not crying for hours. Lucy, you're such a good little baby. Let's feed her again. You'll get your bath in just a second. Oh, what a good little baby. Oh, yeah, we can definitely see check in on James. Changing tables wouldn't have been around until 1929. That's super interesting. Here, come get you a wash. Not William just sleeping his self in. Come meet your baby. Hi, baby. William, you got a daughter now. Aww. What kind of a dad are you going to be, William? Are you going to be strict? I think you're going to be a jokester dad. We're aiming for jokester dynamic with, with William. I think... Will Madison be, I think Madison might be a little strict with her daughter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Cute little Nubu. No, don't eat the bread. We need that for cooking. No, no, no. Don't eat that. Go ahead. And I think we have a lot of leftovers. So just get eggs and toast. William, at least come sit at the table with your wife who just birthed you a child. Uh, Ask her how she's feeling. Uh. What is with you, dude? Oh, well. Got mixed feelings, I suppose. Lucy is going to have them wrapped around her little finger. I need some more custom content for the toddlers. I have a really cute... Um, I don't... I, like, don't have... I realized when I was doing the toddlers for um, 
Maybe it's a table glitch. I was having problems with the other table too, and I replaced their table. He's traumatized by the birth. That birth was a little traumatizing. Every first baby in my decades is a girl. Technically, my first baby in this decades is a boy because he did have a baby with Stella. Well, no, that was a girl too. We had to cheat it to be a boy. So technically, technically, I've had two girls. I I always have a lot of girls in all my series. I think we got a stinky diaper. Now they're chatting. It's okay. Let's change outfit into daisies. Little pink daisies. Wait, is that what we already had on? Oh, I thought that was going to be way cuter than that. Oh, well. Oh, is he going to the outhouse? Oh, he's already going to the outhouse. Okay. Well, just get yourself a nap. We will go in. Do you guys want to see um, little James as a toddler real quick? I don't think I'm going to actually play in the household because I don't want time to pass and then us miss out on this household. But we can hop over and just load into the lot. And you guys can see little, um, little James. And then we'll come back to these guys and see how far we get. I'd like to uh, get to being an infant. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong sim. No, come clean this. I don't want stinky stuff. We're going to have a nice farm. If she gets to level 8 in knitting... Uh, new knittables, toddler onesies, and baby onesies? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I want to do that. Okay, farm is clean. We need to take care of this. William, a lot of responsibility is going to be on you, buddy, now because your wife is going to be taking care of the baby. Let's speed it up a little bit. I want to get her making stuff with the apples. And at level 10, she can make new knittables child toys. That's cool. Okay, water the garden. I think the outhouse needs to be cleaned. Did he get stung by bees? Of course he did. My sims are notoriously stung by bees. No, 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 no. I have an override that's supposed to make you not use that thing. No, 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 no. Take care of these bees. At what point do we think he might reach out to his family? Because that may involve us finding out about our child. Or do our parents maybe come visit us here? I didn't mean to do bond with bees. That was not what I meant to do. Okay, partially full. Let's get out of there, William. Okay, pause and save. He's not at odds with his parent. I mean, I guess his dad, with his dad. I think he, he's not getting on with his dad. But at this point, I mean, how many years have gone by? Several years. Hold on. We also need to add... Hold on. Let's do our spreadsheet real quick so I don't get behind. Because if I don't do it now, I will forget. So we need to add... Lucy Westbrook. And that's going to be son of William and Madison. William and Madison Westbrook. Okay, and making sure born in fall 
1856. 1856. So they're five years apart. James was born in 1851. Lucy's born in 1856. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just copied it from the row above. Daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are correct. Um, he's at odds with his family because he went bye bye Felicia. I think he, him and his mom are still all right, but he hasn't reached out to them in five years. We left five years ago and we have not reached out to our family. Um, so that's a thing. Mom might be a little upset about that. Okay, it's Thursday in the game now, I think. Yeah, it's Thursday. So second day of 1856. And let's see, we're, we've still got a little bit of time left. So for right now, while we're still paused, yeah, he should send a letter first. Let's go hop in and I can show you guys the Todds and then we'll come back in and hopefully get to the next day before the industry, which I think we can do. I don't really love newborn, newborn um, gameplay too much. So maybe we do just play a couple of sim hours in Stella's household just to see what they're up to. Maybe we should invite Willie's parents over just for dinner real quick and do that in this house. And then we can go back to Chestnut Ridge. Just do a little catch up here. Look at little James. Look how freaking cute he is. Here he is. He's adorable. He looks a little bit like Jasper from Ultimate Decades when he was a toddler. And look. Look at Tessa. She is really, really cute. She got the red hair. She is so cute. They're cousins. Tessa and James are cousins. They're so cute. Okay, let's play as James for just a little bit because we're not going to be, we're going to miss out on him. Here, go babble with your cousin. So we won't, it's 11 a.m. So we won't stay here. Oh, power con conservation is an effect here. Let's go talk to your little cuz. Oh Toddlers are my oh favorite God. in the game. Hey, little cousin. <laughs> Sing a song. Oh, there's Stella. <laughs> Not everyone just hanging out in here. He is a cutie. I dressed him in little suits because I imagine Stella always has him looking rather dapper. Mommy. Oh, requires. Can she play with him? Yeah, she can play with him. Do we think he calls Joe dad? Because I think he does. I think he does. No, the cousins are not going to marry each other. I'm not going to have cousins marry each other. Look at him. I think he's going to be really, really close with Stella. Or maybe not. I don't know. We can figure out. Yeah, he would definitely call Joe dad. He has Joe's last name. So he has no reason right now. It's really loud. He has no reason to think that Joe is not his dad right now. But we'll have to figure out how he'll figure out. Tessa is his... Oh! Wait! Purple Empress Renee, you are so right. Tessa, Tess isn't his blood cousin. Maybe that's what happens. We could have some sort of drama where they actually do weirdly fall in love, but they're like they're cousins, but he finds out that she's not his blood cousin because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how comfortable I feel going there, even though they're not blood cousins, because you're totally right. They're not blood cousins. Sing a song with your mommy. I want him to sing because that's going to make him. That's a trait that that William has. So that's like taking after his dad. 
Look at him. I love him. I was decided, Krista. Did I decide if Joe knows James is not his or does he think he's his? I feel like I'm leaning more towards he knows it's not his and he actually did a good thing and married her to keep her, like, from, like, having a baby without being married. I think he knows. I think he's good guy Joe and he knows. But they've made the decision for right now not to tell him, uh, not to tell anyone and not to tell... They've decided not to tell him. Obviously, he wouldn't understand at this point anyway. Maybe one day in the future, Willie and his family come back to see his parents and him and his son run into each other and realize they look alike. It'll be interesting because right now he looks so much like Stella, like just in terms of his like hair and eye color. Does, does Joe not want to pick you up? My other daddy. Oh, look, he got upset, though, when Joe's holding him. That's interesting. It's almost like he knows. It's like James knows this isn't his dad. He's angry. Don't hold me. <laughs> oh, he does have Joe's last name right now. Yeah, his name is James Ewing, but on my chart... Chart, I have it in parentheses that he's Westbrook, but right now he's James Ewing to, you know, go with the cover up. Okay, put us down, Joe. We don't like it. Can you change our diaper though? Because we're a stinky bean. Why are they all just like, none of them are doing anything. They're all just standing around like they have nothing to do. That was interesting. He was having a real good time with Stella and he was not having it with Joe. Oh no, and Tess is destructive. I just want to play as him for a little while with this choice. What, Evelyn, what are, you are like a helicopter mom. Like, get out of here. The kids are going to be fine. You look very unhappy, Evelyn. Very unhappy. <laughs> Tess is going to be spoiled, probably. Could have uh, William's dad run for mayor at some point and his opponent dug it up and used it against him in the campaign. Yeah, we could have something like that happen. Oh my goodness. Tessa loves books. That's cute. Not Joe. Look, Joe's even doing flashcards with Tessa. He is just such a stand-up guy. Joe. Selfless Joe. Do we have any toys you can play with? Play with... Dinosaur. All right, little James. He has a good life, though. He's got, like, a nicer house and stuff than he'd have on the farm, but... But he doesn't have his dad. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we spent a little time with him, though. We're about to leave you, James, so we can go back and take care of our other baby. Oh, also, I noticed, so one of the things, too, their traits. So James aged up with um, Angelic Charmer, and I thought that was interesting because that kind of goes with, like, William's personality of being, like, a smooth talker and, like, I don't know. I feel like personality-wise, I think he's going to take after his dad. But maybe he decides he wants to go out to the Wild West and then he ends up in Chestnut Ridge. And then we find out that it's Stella's baby and he does the math of the dates. And he's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
All right, James. We're gonna leave you now, buddy. Look, he got playful as soon as mom came in. Um, is it Umbrian score? You love my videos. Thank you. So I'm guessing you, you watch Ultimate Decades on YouTube, maybe? Okay, let's switch back because it's 340. We still can get a little bit of time in the other household, but we got to see... Uh, the tummy time rug? I don't need the tummy time rug. She could just do tummy time on the ground, but I'm glad you reminded me of that because I forgot about tummy time once she's an infant. Um, and I have a mod that removes the, the rug underneath them. For a second there, when it had the baby bottle, I was like, wait, we're not pregnant. Poor Stella says you're just like your dang dad. I bet she thinks that all the time. And as she gets older, I wonder if she says stuff like you're just like your dad, but she says it like that, but she means, maybe she says it in passing a lot as he gets older, like he's a teenager and he's like, but he's actually nothing like Joe. And he's like, why does mom always say I'm just like my dad? And like, I'm nothing like Joe. And he just starts to like ask questions. There's so many different ways we can go with how they find out. Oh, look, everyone wants to come over and meet the baby. Uh -huh. Come meet the baby, Lily. Fun and grabby. Because we need to start making That's some friends. Here, come show off. Why is Lily not an option? Oh, because we don't know you yet, apparently. <laughs> apparently, we don't know you. I think I'm going to have to move this mailbox. Yeah. Okay. What about there? Can you uh, pay the bills if I put it there? There we go. Okay, we paid our bills. Now we should be able to show off the baby. Oh my God, she's like perpetually tired, which makes sense with new motherhood. Here, show off to Lily. Hopefully there's room in there. Moshi, moshi. Let's see, who's coming in? Oh my God, alerts are going crazy. Hold on, pause. Let's see. Welcome in, Raiders! Oh my god, my alerts are going crazy. Thank you for the follows, you guys. Gaming Rat. Um, how do I say your name? Miss Grossum? Willow River. Welcome in! Welcome in, you guys. Hold on, my chat got stuck. There we go. There we go. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. I'm Shay. If you guys don't know me, welcome in. We are doing Decades Legacy. Uh, Sand Simmer Animals, welcome in. Thank you for all the follows, you guys. Were you guys playing Sims? You love this dress. Oh my God, isn't it beautiful? We just had a baby today, you guys. We are playing Decades Legacy Challenge, obviously. And we're playing Wild West Edition. And we just had a baby. So welcome in, welcome in. You guys feel free to hang out or if you guys have to go, I completely get it. Oh my gosh. Welcome in, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just showing off our new baby. Our very upset baby, apparently. Patsy, you can come over. We'll say she's coming to our like post-pregnancy check. Our, um... Oh wait, you probably need food to be quite honest. All right. Oh, thank you for that, Mama Sim Streamer. For Raiders to refresh, I have that. I don't know stuff about that. <laughs> you guys know so much more about Twitch than I do. All right. You guys started a new shell challenge tonight. Are you doing um like your own shell challenge, or are you guys doing like someone else's shell challenge? I want to start doing shell challenges um in our community as well, pretty soon. 
I think I want to start with a, a multifamily, like a small apartment lot or something like that. Because I'm real excited for the new pack. Because I do a lot of like multi, multi-unit lots. So I'm excited for the new pack. So I think a, like a multi-lot build shell would be fun. You guys are doing your own. Do you have like a theme or anything for it? Or is she going to sleep? She's going to sleep. So the only thing with this dress is look, it looks weird when you can see like the bottom of it, but otherwise it's really cool. Oh, we need to get rid of the pregnancy, pregnancy pillows. Where is, where is our founder? Oh, here's William. William's been struggling a little bit since the baby's been born. I like how he's just sitting out here under the tree contemplating life. Will, how are you feeling about the new boo? Look like you have a lot on your mind. Is he questioning things? William was a bit wild for a while and he's now settled down with a wife and now that he's got a kid, I don't know. I think he might be questioning things a little bit. You guys made a large build this time, but making it into apartments, that'll be so fun. Poor William, he's neglected. I know he's not getting any love from his wife. Oh my God, I have literally, look at the chicken. I don't know why, but I've literally never paid attention to noticing them up on that little ledge. That was so cool. Okay, anyways, moment for the chicken. He said, is this, is this my life? This isn't what I planned. Oh no. Actually, William, I know it's raining, but I'm probably gonna send you out to do woodworking because we're doing better on money. We have 3,700 simoleons, but that, we're gonna have to expand the house pretty soon, so. I should send him out hunting with the... Mrs. Hooper! Mrs. Hooper just took a bath in our tub and broke it. She was supposed to be coming over to do her midwife checkup with... with Madison, and she broke our tub. All right, just more work for you, William. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the chicken. <laughs> It was a cute chicken, Becca. It was cute. He's motivated to make money to get that baby out of his bedroom. She's like the guest that breaks the toilet and doesn't tell anybody. Yeah, the 1856 edition of I broke her toilet and just left. Yeah, Annie needs to clean the cows and we need to fix the... All right, let's do that before the end of the night. And then we'll get through the night and then we'll age up Lucy into an infant and see what color hair she got. Because that's really what matters. Is what color hair Lucy has. All that matters. Yeah, I cleaned the chickens and the goats. I haven't cleaned the chickens and goats in a while. We do need to... Oh, look, she's fixing it. Bless her heart. Oh, no, she's cleaning it. She broke it. She's cleaning it. No, she is fixing it. Mrs. Hooper, I'm so sorry that I talked badly of you. Look at her. Oh my God, sheepy. Bless her heart. Where'd you go, William? Hold on, baby's crying. No, you are not at our door. Look, our goat is in the room too. Shania, I'm gonna ignore you for right now. And I'm gonna clean my goat. No, you cannot meet the baby. We don't like Shania. This is our husband's ex-girlfriend that he almost married. And she shows up a lot at our house. And we're gonna see if we can just ignore her because she makes herself way too at home. Are you, do you need a diaper change? How are you not crying if your diaper is dirty? Lucy's gonna be a good kid, I think. <laughs> Drama at the door. Oh my God, she's not going away. Let's see what happens if we invite her in. You're way too nice, Madison. I think we're passive aggressive towards her though. Shania doesn't impress as much. Oh my God, Will always walks in right when Shania gets here too. And they have a red bar now, it's just slightly. No. 
No, he's not. Madison! Madison! You are gonna yell at this man right now. This is so inappropriate! Divorce! We can divorce for cheating, but it costs 10,000 simoleons. Oh my god, oh my goodness, oh my god! William! If I could ground him, I would. Let him have it, Madison. You piece of crap. I just had a baby, and you're gonna have your ex-girlfriend over here and flirt with her literally in front of me? You should yell at her, too. It's also her fault. She's the one who keeps... I'm telling you guys, he was in love with Shania, and I wouldn't let him marry her, and I think William's just trying to get back at me. I'm sorry, William. I should have let you marry Shania, but she doesn't have red hair. <laughs> I cannot believe that. What do you mean because I didn't do dowries? I'm making up my own rules. I can do whatever I want. And you're going to yell back at us? And now he's going to compliment our appearance again. He always tries to sweet talk us. He thinks he can just sweet talk us and we're going to be all fine. No, William, you're not going to get off that easy. Send her home right now. Shania, I think you should leave. Oh, my God, are you guys going to make up now? Oh, my God, they're both very flirty. You guys are toxic. You guys are so toxic. Yeah. It said, listen to Madison's question. I think she was like, is anything going on with you guys? Oh, and now they're having deep conversation. I'm not even prompting any of this. Yeah, get yourself some bread. And then ask him that deep, have that deep conversation. Oh my God, if only I could narrate this. I was kind of like, when I got them married, I was like, ooh, we might go down the divorce route with him because of how wild Willie is. I know, she's soaking wet. She needs to change her clothes. Oh no, I forgot I had lactation on. I think I want to turn that off because I don't want to deal with that from the childbirth settings. Disable lactation. Yeah, I just don't want to. That's more than I want to try to keep up with in this decade. Ew, you stink. You need a bath. Oh, now they're flirting. What is wrong with y'all? Are you guys just eating bread for dinner? I think she was outside in the rain. I can have her change into her. It's 11 p.m. She can change into her pajamas. I don't even. I was so not expecting this. Yeah, Madison, go to sleep. You're so flirty, though. Oh, my God. I feel like they're both flirty, and I kind of like my rule. Do we make them woohoo? Like, makeup? Oh, God. He stinks, though. He's real stinky. Boy needs a bath. Um, They're going to make up. Hold on, don't go to bed yet, Madison. Her tatas are looking rather large after that baby. He yelled at her because she yelled at him. Yeah, he's like, nothing is going on. You just like, you misinterpreted what you saw. Like, we're just friends now. She's like, but I love you so much, William. We just had a baby. She can't come around here anymore. What does she want to do? Hold hands. She wants to hold hands with him, okay? It's rather tame. You guys... Oh, interrupted by the baby. Interrupted by your child. Saved by the baby. But he is going to try to... 
You stink, William. You should get a bath, but it is 1850. Maybe they didn't care about that thing. Just get rid of Shania. I don't want to get rid of her. I kind of like the unexpected drama here and there. Yay, we got the It's Lucy's birthday notification, so we can age her up to an infant. All right. Cool, cool. Maddie and Shania just need to fight. I think it's fun for Sims to have a few enemies because um, usually everything's always perfect and everyone gets all along. She has not I don't think she's jealous. She's just like, this is not appropriate. <laughs> Hurry up and put that baby down, Madison. Here, you might as well go get a bath because she's taken forever with the baby. The, joy. the moment's going to pass. <laughs> oh, Ina. <laughs> Why don't you... Here, just wait for him. Here, Madison. Impress him. <laughs> wait, no! Woman, I've got a story. You do what I'm telling you to do. Why won't... Okay, whatever. We'll just be waiting. I don't understand why you can't stay naked. Well, I've tried. I tried. She doesn't want to be naked. She's like, I'm on the internet. Don't make me naked. When you opened up your Sims earlier, you tabbed out for two seconds and came back to your Sim being dead from being hit by a meteor. Oh no. Oh, it's because of the baby. Wait, so then can we even, can we even woohoo with the baby in here? I guess that's okay. I guess we don't take her clothes off for that. Lily Watermelon, welcome in. Lucy's gonna have her own room soon. I'm gonna shuffle the lot around before next stream because I want to add on to the, I want to make a little hallway, I think right across the front. I'm gonna widen it like one or two tiles back and then I want to add a little room with a hallway here. You can woohoo, but you just can't be naked. <laughs> we do need to save. Okay, let me let them finish. Let me let them have their moment. They had their little makeup woohoo. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully we do get pregnant or don't get pregnant, question mark. Are you guys very satisfied? Completely satisfied is William. Let's see. Pleasantly satisfied. Which one's higher? Which one's more satisfied? Pleasantly or completely? I think completely satisfied would be higher. <laughs> Lily, I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, let's do that save. Oh, man. Um, okay, it's Friday. It's 1.38 a.m. So let's age up. Let's get through the night and then we can age up um, baby Lucy in the morning. Here, go flatter and then come sleep. You guys are sleeping on the wrong side of the bed, but I can live with it. Woo wee! Wait, why is Automod still Automodding? Why did it block Crazy Wife? <laughs> I guess that could be considered mean or something. Women are often more fertile right after giving birth, so we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, baby's crying. Don't age up your children with dirty diapers because I ended up with a glitch where my kid got stuck in a dirty diaper forever. So let's change that. She wants to become flirty. You guys are like two peas in a pod. I swear to God, Madison, you really are a match for him. I swear. She has very high woohoo drive. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Lily. Oh my god, he just went back to bed. What the heck? Oh. Oh, it's only 3.30 a.m. I didn't realize that the baby just woke up up in the middle of the night. I thought it was morning. Come to sleep. Wait, wrong sim. Oh, wait. Yeah, your needs are really crappy. Uh... 
I like how my Sims are just surviving on bread at the moment because I haven't had my new mother make any food in a while. Madison hasn't cooked in three months because she's dealing with a new baby. She can't get any sleep at night. She hasn't left this house forever and her husband is apparently hooking up with his ex-girlfriend. She's struggling. So she's just up in the middle of the night contemplating. Let's see. Um, except for the elephant on the porch, Zanaya. Okay, I'm ready to age up my baby. Oh my god, now they're crying constantly. He said ew. <laughs> he said ew. All right, we're going to age up. Okay, we're hoping for red hair. Should we do a cuddle before we age up? A cuddle with the baby, is that what we're... We want to do... Let... And she said, Grobal. She's stinky. You'll get a bath after we age up the baby. Right now, Madison is stinky. I think we just changed the baby's diaper right when she woke up. Madison is the one stinking up the room. Oh, this is perfect timing. We're right almost at three hours. So we'll go ahead and age her up and then I'm going to shift the house a little bit before stream tomorrow and that way we'll have a little room for um, for uh, Lucy. Age up! Red hair! Red hair! Red hair! Drum roll! Okay, our baby... <gasps> I can see your picture, I can't tell. Yay, we're gonna have a calm infant. We love that. Oh no, you missed a test today, Lily. Uh-oh, it's brown hair. That child looks just like Willie. Just like William. Okay, let's take her into cast real quick. First, I'm gonna save though, just in case. Oh no, we do have to roll. Okay. Thank you, Ash. I forgot. I got ahead of myself. Okay, before we go into Cass, I forgot. About, I completely forgot about the death roll. Okay, D20. I think the numbers are the same. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, that doesn't count. That was what we rolled last time. Um, Hold on. Yeah, Lily, the death rolls, we're doing um, a decades challenge. And so for different lifespans, we have certain percentages of death based on the lifespan for that time period. I'm going to pull the rules over just a second if I can find them. I lost them. They're gone forever. Did I accidentally? Oh, they're literally right here. Okay, so I found like some census data of like how long people lived around this time frame. So the infant, also 20% chance. Okay, I did change the numbers. So this one is if we roll a 3, 9, 11, or 15. 3, 9, 11, 15. Here we go. Oh, yes! Yay! Oh my gosh! We're so lucky! Ash, thank you for those good vibes. I believe those good vibes are why we survived. So thank you, Ash. <laughs> Yay! Oh my God, I can't believe it. I just made the numbers up at random. Whew. Okay, now we can go into cast because our child, we have one more toddler death roll. The percentage is slightly lower for the toddler, only 15%. There's only three numbers for the toddler. So we're, we're on the home stretch. We're on the home stretch and we'll be infant for eight days. Woo, Lily, thank you for the hydrate. Okay. Let's see what we have. I don't think I have a lot of infant clothing, so I feel like, whose eyes, let me, what eye colors do our, do they have? Okay. Cause sometimes I have to manually change the eye colors cause they just are random. So green eyes on William, 
Okay, green eyes on Madison too. So I'm going to change Lucy's eyes to green to match because they both have the same eye color. These are slightly different. I'm going to change her skin tone a little bit too because she's just like harshly pale, which is so fine. I'm, I'm porcelain myself. But in game, it's just a little bit harsh with the lighting and I don't, I don't love it. Well, no, not that, not that much. Okay, yeah, just something like that. I'm just really picky about the lighting. <laughs> yeah, she was like a vampire. You like the roll, Kim? It adds more to it. I know, especially when they win. It's really exciting. Okay. Let's see. Um, whoa, not, not that aggressive of eyebrows. Give you some lashes. Make you a little cutie. Maybe we'll do little brown lashes because dad had, let's give you the long ones though. Long brown lashes. Since you got dad's brown hair. Oh boy, oh boy. Got all kinds of accessories. Okay, lashes done. I kind of think I like the hair because I don't think I really have I feel like I'm gonna keep the little pink bow with the hair. Red hair color change? Wait, do we wanna change it? I usually don't change my Sims genetics like that. I do the eyes because eyes um, are glitched when they age up with like custom eyes. But um, are we voting? Do we change to red hair? Is it a unanimous vote? I don't want to. I don't like changing my, the genetics. I like seeing what actually carries through. Unless, like, when they're older, we can say they, they dyed it, but I don't like changing it. I think we're just going to do this little dress. It matches her bow, actually. We should keep the little pink. Next one will hopefully be red hair. So I'm going to stay brown because that was... Can we put some little socks? Because it's fall. It's chilly. I don't really like shoes on my infants all that much. Yeah, we'll do some little for formal. We're not going to probably see formal. Wait, that is cute. How have I never seen this little onesie? Is this new? I've never seen this before. Um, Like Madison had trouble getting pregnant. I want to do a pregnancy test before we end too to see if she's pregnant. I know technically... They don't have like accurate pregnancy tests in 1850, but I'm not able to wait to find out. Okay, hot weather we probably won't see you in because you're only going to be a little infant for eight days and it's going to be winter. Cold weather is always the thing I don't have good custom content for. So if anybody knows of any good, I guess I could just flag one of the dresses as cold weather but I would love to have something that actually like looks like it would keep them warm let's just put her in the little like onesie thing for now um okay so I think I got all of them okay there she is our little girl Lucy our little calm infant. And then let's do a pregnancy test before we end. Because I need to know. I need to know. And she's five years younger than her little half-brother that she doesn't know about. Um. Oh, wait. Whose head shape did she get? I'm actually, I don't know. Can I see her head? Let's see. We got a little bit of a pointy chin, round cheeks. Let's see. Whose face? I don't know, you guys, I have same face syndrome, so. Her mom has more of a pointy chin, I think. Lily, good night, thank you for stopping by. 
Babies would wear frocks in this period. They are a few Victorian gowns. Listen, just scored. Okay, I need to go through for the new boo. Get some new clothes. Because I'm seriously lacking. And then before you go take a pregnancy test, madame. In Ultimate Decades Challenge, we were saying that she, that they were peeing on wheat. That used to be like a way that they checked pregnancy back in the day and they would see if it would germinate. She's going pee on a bag of wheat and she's going to see what happens. An old wise tell. I think she might have Maddie's head. I think so too. I think it looks a little bit, the chin looks more. Oh, William, this is broken again, buddy. Every time it rains, I think that breaks. Or maybe it just breaks. Oh, she's not pregnant. She can get pregnant though, because I, I tested my settings. So it's just, a um, she just didn't get pregnant. Because the percentage is still only like 30%. But I tested it out and she was able to get pregnant. Because this pregnancy with Lucy was actually a real pregnancy. I actually ended the pregnancy that we cheated and then I tested it out to make sure it worked and she got for real pregnant. So, all right, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it for tonight. I'll get it set up to where we have a little, you know, all the infant stuff that we need for Lucy. We're doing okay on money, so we'll be good for that. Um, and then we're gonna be like out of money again, so. But we did good. She's not pregnant again. We'll see what drama is going to continue to unfold with Shania because that was unexpected, I will say. I mean, I, I shouldn't say unexpected. I know today, I don't think we really got off the lot other than to try to go to the general store. So also before I end, what, what should we do now that we have the infant? I have a real bad habit once we have kids. I just start to get stuck on like our main lot. So what are some things we could start to think about doing? I think let's look at the calendar for the holidays. So I think we should do something. I don't want to do rebate day. I want to get rid of that. Okay, so Harvest Fest is coming up. So I do want to do something nice. Like maybe we do sort of like a community, some sort of like community Harvest Fest thing. Um, maybe uh, they host it at Rusty's Saloon and we can set up like a big table in the saloon and we can do Harvest Fest with like the townies and bring the baby and stuff. That would be fun, I think. I do want to edit this, though, to not have gnomes because those are super annoying. Um, yeah, take her to a park. We could take her out. We could go, like, out a little bit with her. There's, like, a couple fun, like, areas around. I don't have, like, an actual park. Um, and then also while we're talking about brainstorming, I want to go to the world map real quick and also have you guys thinking, yeah, like a potluck do sums exactly. I think that would be nice. And then... There's basically these two 64, no, well, this one's 50 by 50, I guess. And then this lot over here is 64 by 64. And I feel like because lots are limited, like we have the retail lot for the general store. We have, this is technically a bar because it's like a live-in bar. So we have a bar for the Eight Bell Saloon. And then unfortunately, my like hotel lot is like not really serving much of a purpose unless someone gets thrown in jail, which I think will happen to William at some point. He's going to get drunk, get in a bar fight. And he's going to end up having to stay the night in jail. So we will use this lot. And then like the hotel, like if our parents come to stay, I think I'll have them stay there. But for this big lot, I feel like we could make it some kind of like really fun, like community lot that has like maybe multi-purpose use. So we can maybe like switch it to a restaurant when we need to go to a restaurant or like switch it to, but like, I'm not good at lots on big, like on 64 by 64 is like, that just feels overwhelming for me. But I would like to set up something like community there, I think. So if you guys end up having any ideas, and I know Purple Empress Renee, I think, was it you in Discord who had the idea to do like a big barn for parties? I was like, I tried to start building one at one point, but it was really overwhelming. Maybe I can do some kind of like a uh, town square, like the one in Hinford. That's what I want. It's like, I want it to feel like a, like a little mini town. So I was thinking of doing that on one of these lots. So yeah, I'll have to ask Rose DSIM. I'll have to pick her brain because I feel like she'd be really good. She's really good at spacing out like multi things so that maybe I can come up with something with her. So anyways, that's what I'm thinking of because we do need some more places that we can go and something like we for sure need a restaurant and a place we can go for dates and stuff. So we'll figure it out. But anyways, that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Have a good night, everyone.